G'day YouTube, it's Justin here from All Things Outdoors with uh, another update video on the Chesney President Caravan Renovation Build. Uh, since my last video, I've actually laid some new vinyl plank flooring, glued it down to the original floor, which was plyboard. Now, there was a slight bit of expansion, but that's to be expected. Uh, there's slight gaps here and there. It's to be expected with all the flexing and um, expansion contraction that Karen does as it gets hot or cold. So, I reckon it's looking pretty good. It's going to be nice and hard wearing and easy to keep clean when you're out camping. Another thing I've been working pretty hard on is the electrical setup. So you can see down there, I've got a battery and uh, it's uh, been wired up a little bit. Uh, so here I've got a 97 amp hour deep cycle Delcor battery, which will supply the distribution panel I've got over here. So I've got a CTEC D250 dual DC to DC charger, which has the both the alternator and the solar panel input. I have a fused distribution panel and I have an isolator solenoid so you can isolate the battery power so that it won't run flat. I've also installed a 240 volt AC charger which is hooked up to the 240 system so that when you're at a caravan park or at home and you're not hooked up to a vehicle or a solar panel you can still charge the battery as well. So the 240 volt system has been rewired by a licensed electrician. You can see there, got several outlets. And over here, where the 240 comes in, which hasn't been completed yet, so there's the exterior 15 amp socket. And this is a protection circuit for the van so that'll be installed in the wall there it's actually a legal requirement nowadays with caravans to have circuit protection in the van so this van didn't originally have it, have it and now it will as part of the CTEC package I also got the Bluetooth monitoring device so you can hook that device up via Bluetooth to your phone and monitor your charge levels of your battery to maintain power to your van. I also have an alternate method of checking battery voltage with this monitor panel here, which has both USB and cigarette lighter sockets in it for charging mobile phones, iPads and whatnot. Down the back here by the bed, there will be another two USB ports, one either side of the bed and another one down there so that you can charge phones by the bed. I've also installed an Anderson plug down here because this is where I intend to have the 12 volt fridge. Hence why there's an AC power outlet there too. So they can run on 240 when we're in a caravan park. I've also replaced the exterior outlet as the old one was crumbling. It's another requirement nowadays with caravans to have what they call double pole outlets, which gives you an added level of safety. Down the back here, I've installed an Anderson plug, which is an outlet so that you can have any sort of 12 volt device powered outside the van. The intention is to use this to power the 12 volt shower, which will be set up here at this back corner. And on the front right hand corner is another Anderson plug, which is the inlet for the solar panel to charge the battery. I've also purchased 14 sheets of foil board, which will use to insulate the walls of the caravan and also the ceiling. This will help to keep us a bit cooler during the summer months. 
as the Chesneys didn't originally have insulation in them. I've also installed a new roof vent as the old one was hail damaged and eventually ripped itself off while I was moving the van. I knew I had to replace it anyway, so I went and bought this one from Kamek and it slotted in there quite nicely. We had to pack it out just a little bit with some plyboard, but it looks really great. I've also gone ahead and resealed the whole top of the van with Sikaflex. Uh, the, there were quite a few weather leaks. Water was getting in down the walls. It's all nice and watertight now. Now you're up to date with the progress on the van. The next part of the renovation is to uh, put the insulation in the walls and then to put the wall panels on. Thanks for watching. Get on and check out the other videos in this series for the uh, Chesney President renovation project and uh, jump onto my channel All Things Outdoors to check out a whole other videos to do with everything All Things Outdoors. Thanks guys. See you later.